27 days after his inauguration, President William Ruto has visited three regional countries. That's Ethiopia, Uganda, and Tanzania. The head of state during these visits gave a glimpse of his foreign policy agenda, which places Kenya at the epicenter of regional peace, security, trade, and diplomatic projects. According to foreign policy analyst Professor Masharia Munene, President Ruto must now balance between policies that his administration will craft and those employed by his predecessor, retired President Uhuru Kenyatta. Citizen TV's Ayub Abdikadir with President Ruto's regional foreign policy playbook. We will deploy robust, creative, and engaging foreign exchange policy to raise Kenya's profile as a regional anchor state and amplify our partnership with the rest of the world, including Africa, USA, China, Europe, United Kingdom, India, among other partners. The president's visits to the three neighboring countries of Ethiopia, Uganda and Tanzania less than a month after his inauguration points to solidification of his foreign policy objectives. President Ruto's reign started amid regional dynamism and a new world order, pointing to the need for strengthening of existing bilateral and trade relations, craft new ones and playing a key role among the community of nations. I think the president um, is trying very hard to establish his presence in the region. And um, it's good that he's made um, the East African community region the first area to pay serious attention, among the first areas. But more fundamental is Ruto's visit to Tanzania and meeting with President Samia Suluhu Hassan. Foreign policy observers see this as a move to bolster relations with Dar es Salaam that may not largely agree with some of his latest decisions, including lifting the ban on GMOs. The move to Tanzania is maybe try to see whether there can be an understanding, given that um, uh, he has started badly, especially on the GMO thing. And given that um, Tanzania has responded indirectly, mm -hmm by saying that it would be hesitant to, to deal with the imports, GMO imports from anywhere. Yeah. That, that, that's a slap on Kenya's face. While President Ruto tries to find a balance, economic stability and trade are among the foreign policy priorities for his administration, who called for open up borders within the South African community to deepen regional trade integration and ease trade restrictions. Uh, his statement in Uganda about opening up the borders uh, it's a good statement, uh, but it runs counter to the expectations of some other country. If the others are saying, don't bring some bad things to us, then that's a contradiction. Eh? Nairobi, seen as an anchor state by world powers, has been on a diplomatic mission to reconcile warring parties in Ethiopia following the conflict between the federal government led by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, in what the UN has termed as stain on our concerns. Kenyan rule try to help both sides uh, cool down the temperatures. I think that's what Uhuru was trying to do. The president's direction can shape or reshape a country's foreign policy, and his entry is full with competing regional interests that want Nairobi's attention. Why would Kenya be interested in cooling down the temperatures? in any of the countries in the region. It's because when they have problems there, Kenya feels it. Because the refugees, they, they all come to Nairobi. <laughs> and that's a burden for the country. However, President Ruto's administration starts on a foreign policy ploughed road by his predecessor, President Uhuru Kenyatta. There will be continuity with the Uhuru policies, uh, which is good. And there will be some deviations here and there, depending on... Uh, issues at hand. So we expect some continuity, uh, but not everything, because there has to be some distinctions uh, as to why he is there and what it is that uh, he aims at. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, Nairobi.